Hello viewers, here is Dr. Malada Sharma. Welcome you to my channel Kim Philic. Today's video is the 25th episode of Chemical Thermodynamics. And in this 25th episode, I will discuss few numerical problems on adiabatic compression of ideal gas. So, let's start. Before starting the problems, let's see the relation between pressure volume, volume temperature and pressure temperature in adiabatic reversible process. So, first one, we see the relation between the temperature and volume. Here is the relation. T1, that is initial temperature. V1 to the power gamma minus 1. V1 is initial volume. Gamma is the ratio of Cp and Cv. That is heat capacity at constant pressure divided by heat capacity at constant volume of the gas. So, gamma minus 1. T1, V1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to T2. Final temperature V2, final volume to the power gamma minus 1. So, we can write T V to the power gamma minus 1 is constant. This gamma value, which is the ratio of Cp and Cv of the gases, its value is 1.66 for the monoatomic gases. 1.4 for the diatomic gases and 1.33 for the triatomic gases. Now coming to the relation between pressure and volume. What is that? P1, initial pressure, V1 to the power gamma, that is initial volume to the power gamma, is equal to P2, final pressure, V to final volume to the power gamma. So, from here we can write PV to the power gamma is constant. Now, coming to the relation between temperature and pressure. What is that? T1, initial temperature. P1, initial pressure to the power 1 minus gamma by gamma is equal to T2, final temperature into P2, final pressure to the power 1 minus gamma by gamma. So, what we can write? T, P, T, P to the power 1 minus gamma by gamma is constant. Now, let's apply this relation to solve the problems. Now, problem number 7. Already 6 problems I have discussed in my previous videos. Now see what is problem number 7. Calculate the increase in temperature of helium at 0 degree centigrade compressed adiabatically to half of its volume. So helium gas which is monoatomic gas that means gamma value is 1.66 which is compressed to half of its volume at 0 degree centigrade, then what will be the final temperature? That means what is the increase in temperature? We have to find it out. So, let's see. Initial volume V1, say it is V. Final volume will be half of the initial volume. So, final volume V2 will be is equal to V by 2. Initial temperature is 0 degree Kelvin. That means, sorry, 0 degree centigrade. That means 273 Kelvin. We have to find out first the P2. That is the final temperature. Okay. So, here we have to apply the relation between the temperature and volume. We know just now we have seen in adiabatic process relation between temperature and volume is T1 V1 to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to T2 
v2 to the power gamma minus 1 and already I told you helium is monoatomic gas so gamma is 1.66 so now put the values in this equation t1 that is 273 into v1 that means this v to the power gamma minus 1 1.66 minus 1 is equal to t2 into v2 v2 is v by 2 to the power 1 point gamma minus 1 that is 1.66 minus 1 so temperature we have taken together so t2 divided by 273 is equal to 2v divided by v to the power 0 0.66 1.66 minus 1 that is 0 0.66. So T2 is equal to 2 VV gets cancelled. 2 to the power 0 0.66 into 273. Now we will take log in both the sides. So log T2 is equal to 0 0.66 log 2 plus log 273. So, log T2 is equal to these values plus these values. So, log T2 is equal to, if we consider these values, after adding, we will get 2.6348. So, after taking anti-log, T2 or final temperature will be 431.3. So, this is the final temperature. Now we have to find out the increase in temperature. That will be final temperature minus initial temperature. So T2 is 431.3 and then increase in temperature is T2 minus T1. So 431.3 minus 273 that is 158.3 Kelvin. This is the increase in temperature during the process. Now coming to problem number 8. What is that? 3 moles of a perfect gas with CV is equal to 5 calorie per mole per degree centigrade are to be compressed adiabatically and reversibly from volume 7.5 liter at 1 atmosphere to a pressure of 100 atmosphere. Predict the volume and final temperature of the gas. Okay. So, the gas, we have taken 3 moles whose CV value is given. It is compressed adiabatically and reversibly from the initial volume 7.5 liter and the pressure changes from 1 atmosphere to 100 atmosphere during this compression. And we have to find out the final volume and final temperature. Only CV value is given. But we know the relation between CP and CV. That is CP minus CV is equal to R. That is universal gas constant. So, from that relation, we can find out the value of CP. Once we can find out the value of CP, then CP by CV, that will be equal to gamma. So, here, CP minus CV is equal to R. So, CP is equal to R plus CV. So, CP is equal to R value in calorie is 2 calorie. Plus CV is 5, so 7 calorie. So gamma is equal to CP by CV is equal to 7.7 .7 by 5 is equal to 1.4. Now we have to find out the final volume. Pressure is given. That means we have to use the relation between pressure and volume. We know the relation P1 V1 to the power gamma is equal to P2 V2 to the power gamma. Here gamma value is 1.4 means it is diatomic gas. Now P1 what is the initial pressure? 1 atmosphere into initial volume 7.5 to the power gamma 1.4 is equal to what is Final pressure 100. What is final volume? Final volume we are considering V2 to the power 1.4. 
So, this V2 divided by 7.5 to the power 1.4 is equal to 1 by 100. Now, take log in both sides. So, here it is 1.4 log V2 minus 1.4 log 7.5 is equal to log 1 minus log 100. So, 1.4 log V2 is equal to log 1 is 0, log 100 is 2. So, it is minus 2 plus this value that is 1.4 log 7.5. So, log V2 will be these values divided by 1.4. So, if we calculate, it is coming out as 0 0.625 divided by 1.4 and that is equal to 0 0.446. So, if we take the anti-log, then V2 is coming out as 2.796 liter. This is the final volume. Now, we have to find out the final temperature. We know that for ideal gas, PV is equal to NRT. So, PV is equal to NRT. So, what will be temperature? That will be PV divided by NR. Okay. Now, we will put the values. P final pressure 100. V final volume 2.796 divided by N 3 moles. R in liter atmosphere, this value is 0.082. So, if we put the values, the final temperature is coming as 1135 Kelvin, that is 1135 Kelvin. So, this is the final temperature and this is the final volume. So, with this, we have come to the end. Thank you.